Dr drought's a really tricky subject. It can be because it's difficult to define and it means different things to different people. And there are short-term impacts and longer-term impacts. And drought is kind of considered an enigma. And it is also an integrator or a product of both temperature as well as precipitation. And, and high temperatures can magnify drought conditions. But, but what the models are projecting is uh, more frequent kind of high intensity drought events. And, and how that plays out in certain areas can look different depending on the water usage, the, the soil type, the vegetation. There's so many factors that go into play when it comes to, to drought. And we can think about it in an agricultural sense. Is there enough precipitation uh, for to grow our crops? Or do we have irrigation in place that has to augment and alter the climate uh, to give it enough precipitation? Is it in a hydrology sense? Is there enough water in the reservoirs? Is there enough snowpack in the mountains? Um, so there's a hydrological aspect to that as well. There's ecological drought. Are the ecosystems impacted when it comes to our lack of, of precipitation? So drought is very nuanced and there's different ways that we can look at it. But I think the expectation uh, is there to have these high intensity uh, drought events that we are seeing. And in, in some cases it will play out in multi-year drought events like we've seen in the West, which compounds and exacerbates the implications. In other parts of the country, we will see, say in the, the Eastern half of the US, we may see more rapid onset drought events and going quickly from wet to dry, which, which also has its own set of implications.